Hey there everyone, this is Julie B with Be Smart Social Media, back with another video. And this video today, I'm gonna to talk about some highlights and some things that you definitely need to know about what's going on with social media. And I will say this one, it's a longer video, but it's got a lot of really important information in it, so buckle up and here we go. First up, Instagram. So Instagram recently announced that they are going to start experimenting with how they embrace video more broadly. What does that mean for you? Well, I would say get ready to record everything, basically. Anytime a social channel says that they're going to embrace something more broadly, it's something to definitely pay attention to, especially if Instagram makes up a big part of your marketing strategy. While I do think this could be a bit risky for the social channel, because since its inception, it's been known as the image or photo channel, it's still something to pay attention to, and you wanna make sure you start sharing more videos on Instagram. The next thing up is TikTok. TikTok just recently launched TikTok resumes, where people can put a video resume out there and other companies can see it and companies can list jobs. Now, right now, this is just in a pilot program. So mostly it's for big brands. You've got brands like Abercrombie and Fitch, Target, things like that on there right now. And it may or may not become more widely available. But if it does, I do think TikTok might become your next recruiting tool. If it becomes more widely available for small businesses, it could potentially change how we all recruit and hire. So for right now, it's just something to watch, but definitely pay attention to it, especially as we're going into this new era of a lot of people wanting remote work jobs. And that's what this one's mostly focused on. On a side note, if you know somebody who's looking for a remote work right now, you definitely want to share this with them because almost all of the jobs on there listed right now are remote work and it's all with larger brands. Moving right along, I'm going to talk about LinkedIn for a little bit here. LinkedIn just launched the LinkedIn Stories feature. Now we've all probably used Stories, we're familiar with Stories, but LinkedIn just launched that feature recently. And I think it is a much needed addition to help uh, people stand out better with their content. Now, I do think that LinkedIn Stories might replace LinkedIn Live. The live feature on LinkedIn is not the best, but big picture, I don't think LinkedIn Stories is going to save the channel. I've said for a long time that I'm just waiting for the next viable business social network to come out to really put LinkedIn to bed because that network has been on decline for quite a while. But what it means for you right now, here's what I would say. If you haven't started transitioning your connections on LinkedIn over to something else, whether it's your email list, preferably there, if it's not that, at least to a different social channel, now is the time to do that. And you could potentially make use of the LinkedIn stories while it's a newer feature to get people to transition to a different platform for you altogether. And with the knowledge that I'm about to drop on you about Twitter and what I just mentioned about TikTok and the resumes thing, you really need to start making this move because I really do think that as soon as we have a social channel that is that can really fill that void of business social network, LinkedIn's probably gonna go away. Which brings me to my final point, Twitter. Now, Twitter has recently launched business profiles. And, you know, it's one of those things, it's a newer feature, it's in beta testing right now, but it's something to watch because if, if it has an impact on how people use that social channel for business, you may wanna go back, first of all, you may wanna get re-engaged there if you haven't been engaged there for a while. But secondly, this is one of the things that makes me think that, you know, Twitter might do the thing that Facebook has never been able to do, which has really become a great business social network. And if that happens, that could potentially make LinkedIn the MySpace of this decade. So just keep that in mind, keep all of these things in mind as you are planning the rest of your social media for the year, as you're maybe looking for how to improve on your social on your social marketing, 
And then also, if you have clients, please feel free to share this with them because these are things they need to know about as well. So I hope that you found all of this information helpful. Those were some of the highlights. Social media changed a lot over this past three months, and there are a lot of other updates I could have given here, but I think these are the most important trends and things to watch, as well as some practical advice that you can take and implement right now. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, reach out. I'm happy to answer them.